Hey folks, today is December the 30th. It's currently about six o'clock in the afternoon. This is the last trading day of 2022. So we're going to take a look and see how Adjumat did for the entire year of 2022 today. As we can see here last week, we earned 1.26%. Week before that, we lost 5.39%. Before that, we made 1.69%. All right, let's go ahead and see how we closed out 2022. All right, overall we're up 105.41, but I can look at the absolute gain. We can see here we're actually up 67.4% on my $5,000 deposit, and the balance right now is 8,460. We'll take a look at that in further detail as we get into the VPS. But we can see here this week we made 0.71% or $59.81. Um, honestly, I'm actually pleased with that just because of the uh, time period that we're trading in. Typically, you know, end of December, first couple weeks of January are very slow and tough trading for most EAs. And a lot of people simply uh, skip that time period, but we're trading right through it. And as we can see, we do have trades open going into the weekend. And for some reason, my FX book has been glitching a lot recently. It started yesterday. It's not showing the most recent updates, but either way, we can actually come up to the top and we can see overall for the year, we earned 23.32% or $1,599. So definitely 23% is uh, not bad by any means. It's actually very good. If you have that, if I had this money sitting in a bank savings account, I'd be earning, you know, 0.03% per year. Um, even a high interest saving account is only, you know, a couple percentage points per year. So 23% per year, it's not bad at all. I was hoping this would come up here so we could actually see what we closed out with for, all right, let's go ahead and check out the month. We can look at it right here. looks like we lost 0.96% or $82 for the month of December. And again, that came from I think what was it last week or the week before last week where we had a 5% hit 5.39% two weeks back. So we weren't quite able to dig ourselves out of that hole for the month, but we did still in the year in a great position. Let's see if it comes up now. All right, there it is. So as we can see here, December, 2022 0.96%. Um, obviously would have liked to end the month in the year, on a more positive note, but we can't control what the market does. And like I said, this was a a very uh, unfortunate time to be trading If for those of us that uh, chose to continue trading through this market right now. So we're just going to, you know, take what we got and keep moving forward. All right. Let us now take a look at the news before we jump into the VPS. All right. So Monday, nothing there. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we had unemployment claims out of the U.S., and Friday, nothing there as well. So like I said, not a whole lot happening this week. Let's go ahead and jump into the VPS. So we can see here we have $262.99 in drawdown going into the weekend. And over here, we can see our current balance is $8,460. We can check account history. And the first day of the week was December the 26th. So it looks like we got started right here. So we didn't actually close out very many trades this week, which is to be expected. But we can uh, take a look here. We can see we have a two trade group right here. And here's a pretty nice size loss. So let's see here. One, two, three, four trades in this group. And that $24 trade kept us in profit there. Another four trade group. This $15 trade kept us in profit there. And then we had a string of small winners and a small 26 cent losing trade right there. So overall, like I said, cannot complain how Algemat performed during this uh, very slow period in the market when a lot of the big players are most likely on vacation until uh, several weeks into January. All right, let's go ahead now. Let's come back. Let's take a look and see how you guys did. All right, let's check out Kelvin's live account. All right, Kelvin earned 1.49% on Axie. That's the broker that he's with. 
And let's see here. He closed out December up 9.31%. And as always, you guys can come here and actually see which pairs have performed the best for him. All right, let's check out Khalid's demo account. We can see here 1.34%. Definitely some drawdown going into the weekend, $199. And once again, for some reason, the monthly analytics is not wanting to load up. But we can see here monthly 0.53, daily 0 0.02. Overall gain right now is 6.73%, working towards making a new higher high after that hit that he took in September. All right, let's keep on going. Alex, I think Alex shut his off. But we can uh, we'll take a look. We can see here 0.40 percent, and for the year, should say it up here somewhere. All right, we got daily, we got monthly. I thought year was up here. Some here it is here. All right, so for the year 2022, his account is up 122.49 percent. So did extremely well for the year. We can scroll down. And once again, that's not wanting to act right. So we'll skip that for now. All right. So everybody made a profit for this week. Everybody hopefully will be able to get back up to new higher highs in 2023. We'll just have to be patient and see what the market gives us. All right. Let's go ahead now. Take a look at some of the questions you guys had or comments. All right. As we can see here, hi, good job as always. I just wanted to say that I closed the EA until the New Year's. And this is uh, Alex, as I mentioned earlier. And the orders are still there. We'll only take profit, no stop loss. Have a happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a happy New Year yourself. All right, um, I think this right here is just a, a spam message. I'll try to get that erased. All right, no, uh, Maxi Pirelli, could you test FX Stabilizer? It has a high rating on my FX book and has been active live for a few years now. FX Stabilizer Euro Turbo. I have heard of this uh, particular EA, and we can actually come over here. FX Stabilizer. I don't see, let me see, Turbo. All right, so I see FX Stabilizer Oldsmith, and I see FX Stabilizer Pro. So I'm not sure if... All right, so this right here does say Turbo on it. So I'm not sure if that's just uh, some of the settings that they have. Interesting. Okay, and let's check out Forex Peace Army. Just take a quick peek here. Seven months of use, and I'm very satisfied. This individual said he's been using it for the past seven months. Good trading system. Support is excellent. Duration of the statistics indicates the stability and reliability of the system. Had a bad experience with another system before. Therefore, I have something to compare it with. Profit is growing. I wish these individuals um, had their MyFX books posted so we could see. And let's keep on going down. Tested this EA. Attached on AUD USD pair. Crazy moves. King dollar my tested account. Got margin called. Um... This says that uh, his software detected malware. All right, the robot was giving small profits for a few trades, but last week it wiped. I know this EA does trade with Martingale, so that's one thing we always have to be uh, aware of with any EA that trades with Martingale. All right, finally got the EA installed and working. He seems to be getting the same results as posted on the developer's account using Turbo Mode. Okay, so Turbo must be a specific mode that we can, uh, I guess, choose here. Very interesting indeed. So this is turbo mode. What's the difference between these two? All right, but yeah, if you guys want to, you can come here and check out, read some of the reviews, some positive, some negative. And I did check to see. Okay, I didn't notice this before. So Forex Peace Army, I know a lot of times they will uh, actually have the product running in their own accounts where they test it themselves. And it looks like this one actually... Minus 98.698%. And that's one of the issues I... And it looks like status has been stopped. So like I said, when you're dealing with Martingale, all it takes is that one bad trade to blow up the account. And it looks like that's exactly what happened there. They tested this for 135 weeks. It looks like before it actually blew up the account. 
All right. And in saying that, here's another account. It looks like something similar happened here, but I did find some accounts that actually are still doing well. You can see here, December 19th, 2022, FX Stabilizer Turbo. And this is the Durable account. I guess Turbo and Durable are two different settings you can choose. All right, and over here, this is my FX book. And I was going through some of the uh, things that people were saying about it. All right, let me see here. Is it good or bad? It's difficult to understand your answer. And for reason, after reading dozens of reviews, I chose three of the most interesting EAs for me. FX Stabilizer, Flex, and In Control, but I don't know what to buy. All right, so this individual is interested in those three. And let's go back to page three. Let's see what... uh people had to say here and FX stabilizer AUD turbo hit its stop loss sadly a lot of EAs nowadays hit its stop loss FX stabilizer was my favorite EA out there uh, to all the guys who think FX stabilizer turbo hit a stop loss please show me where as that never happened and I personally know the experts behind this EA and co-own such and such uh, just for the record it has happened undurable but not turbo all right, so they're, they're saying it has happened, undurable, but not on the turbo settings. That's what this individual is stating. All right, so it looks like there's quite a bit of back and forth on that. And let's keep on going down here. Whoa, thank you so much for an honest and open answer. I really appreciate it. Worth buying or not? Yes, I think so. Definitely yes. Read all comments below. Great EA. A little bit pricey and drawdown kind of high for me, but it can trade. All right. All right. Successful trading during the whole COVID-19 situation. Impressive. Uh, this is a typical Martingale EA that has endured a long-term forward test and has a high profit rate. Great results. There are not many EAs that perform as well as FX Stabilizer. Balance protection function is designed to avoid the high risk of unexpected losses. Okay. However, it is dangerous to operate with a small balance or a large lot size. It may be better to adjust the lot size carefully. Even with 0.01 lots, the average profit will be around 200. So it is better to operate carefully with a large balance with small lot size. All right. Although it is a high risk, high return Martingale EA, it may be more useful than poor trend following EAs or a scalper EA that depends on the operating environment. Okay. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of interesting information you guys can, if you want, check out here on the MyFX book website itself. And I think this is just, this is a demo account. These are just different brokers. I see markets. We can see here, nice healthy move up, push down, healthy move up, push down. Obviously, no EA is going to a uh, profit um, in a straight up line. So there are going to be losses. What we mainly want to uh, stay away from is... The losses that wipe out the entire account and it looks like uh, whoever's running these has stopped them mid-december because all of them stopped mid-december december 15th december 19th and i'm pretty sure this is uh the vendor's account all right so yeah it definitely looks like something worth looking into since you had uh brought it up i definitely wanted to make sure i took a look at it um in the video and we can see here clearly the prices fx stabilizer pro 739 fx stabilizer ultimate 539 and it looks like the difference is the ultimate is six currency pairs hard drawdown control um the pro is eight currency pairs and i'm sure there are some other differences as well it says it includes all the features from the ultimate version um, plus extra license works on any mt4 mt5 broker okay so yeah if that's something you guys are interested in or if you're already testing this Definitely uh, shoot me an email or a comment section or a comment below, and I will uh, potentially look at testing this myself in the new year. I do plan on making some changes in the new year to what we're doing here, so we'll uh, we'll wait, be patient, and see what happens with that. Anyway, was that the last one? Yes, that was the last one. All right, so as always, guys, if you have any questions on the Adjumat EA, you can ask in the comment section. If you want to test it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below to help support the channel. Hope you guys have a great weekend and a happy new year. And that is going to be, what is that, Saturday? And I'll see you uh, in the new year, 2023. Take care, folks.